Hi, Mark Satterfield here. Thanks for thanks for joining me. Got a short uh, presentation today called "How to Get Inside the Minds of Your Prospects and Clients." And no, this isn't any uh, psychobabble, woo-woo stuff. Uh, rather, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you seven questions, which I think will be very helpful to you in terms of being more persuasive with your prospects and clients. Uh, they're going to enable you to be more persuasive one-on-one, -on -one, more persuasive in terms of writing sales letters and emails, more persuasive in writing website coffee, copy. Uh, all in all, uh, these questions have been very helpful to me, and I hope they'll be uh, helpful to you as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, I believe that first and foremost, when we're talking about marketing, what we really want to be talking about is niche marketing. Now, I'm not suggesting that your entire business be focused on just one niche. Rather, what I'm talking about is that your marketing should be focused on a particular niche. And th there's a lot of reasons for why that makes sense. The big one, of course, is that prospects want to see a reflection of themselves in your marketing materials. But also, from our standpoint, it just makes it a heck of a lot easier to be persuasive, to write compelling uh, copy, if we're really focusing our message on a small niche rather than a mass market. And, and specifically, when, when I write copy and, and when most of the top copywriters are writing copy, what we're trying to do is we're visualizing a specific person in mind. So we're really writing to an individual. Even though the message may be going out to lots and lots of folk, we want to actually write it with the idea being that it's, uh, it's, it's got one person in mind. And naturally that's easier to do if we're more of a niche focus than a broad-based focus. So here are the seven questions that I think will help you uh, be more persuasive and communicate more effectively with your specific niche uh, audiences. Whoa, and yes, we're going to a very bright white background right now, and the reason is, is that Mark wanted to cut and paste these questions, and if you cut and paste uh, black type onto a black background, it, well, pretty much becomes invisible. So, anyway, uh, question number one. John or Jane is my ideal prospect. She is how many years old? Her three biggest frustrations are one, two, and three. She is afraid of what? Sometimes she even wakes up in the middle of the night worrying about what? This question is going to help you start to really take this person that you are writing to from the non-specific down to the very specific. Question number two. If he could snap his fingers and make three specific outcomes happen immediately, he would want the following three things to happen. Remember, of course, that all good marketing communication focuses on either pain or gain. Pain simply being what is it that they want to avoid, gain meaning what is it that they uh, aspire to. And so this question is really going to gain. What's the desired outcome that this particular person wants? Question number three. Her biggest concern about hiring an advisor to solve this problem is what? Now, don't put down money because that's not going to, first of all, be helpful. And second of all, money becomes less of an issue. I'm not saying it, it, it goes away, but it becomes less of an issue when you are starting to now have a lot of compelling reasons for why someone should do business with you. So aside from money, what are the reasons that this person would be reluctant to hire an advisor. This, of course, gives you the objections, which you can then incorporate into your marketing materials, your sales presentations, so that you preemptively overcome them. Question number four. If he is going to do business with me, he needs to believe one, two, and three. These are the components of credibility that he is going to really want to know. And again, the answers to these are going to help you zero in and write compelling persuasive copy or be more persuasive in your one-on-one -on -one communication. Question number five, the myth he believes which I will shatter is what? This is huge. Everybody has preconceived ideas about your area of expertise. And I guarantee you at least one of them is completely wrong. So what you want to be doing is you want to be shattering those myths. 
people talk about, okay, how do I differentiate myself? Because pretty much, you know, what I do is similar to what all my competitors do. Well, one of the ways you differentiate yourself is by shattering myths. So, for example, in my world, most people come to me and I ask them, where do they get their clients historically? And they'll say word of mouth and referrals. And what they discover is that that isn't enough. That is unfortunately what keeps them in the feast or famine business cycles. And so that, that myth that I can get all the business I want just by networking, just by referrals, that's a myth that I shatter by introducing the Gentle Rain marketing system. Okay, question number six. Right now, he gets most of his information about my topics from centers of influence such as one, two, and three. Now, centers of influence might be a person, it could be a blog, it could be an article, it could be someone else's website, it could be a lot of different things. But what this does is not only tell you where you need to be focusing, make sure you're not sending out the same marketing communication as, uh, as, as everyone else, but also, these are the people that you will then want to influence. So if, for example, CPAs or lawyers are great centers of influence, now we want to be developing a strategy for how do we develop relationships with these centers of influence. And finally, question number seven. In trying to solve his problem, he's not able to what? This goes to the gap. What is the gap that exists between his current state and what he wants from a desired state? And we want to be able to articulate that very specifically. Now, these are seven great questions. And these are questions that are going to help you write more persuasive copy. But the key is that you want to actually write out the answers. If you just think about them in your mind, and believe me, I felt, I felt uh, uh, guilty of, of this as much as anyone, then it still remains fuzzy thinking. And we don't do as good a job as we possibly could in terms of really developing that crystallized understanding about what's going to persuade our clients to want to do business with us. So really take the effort of writing it down and being specific. And the more, the more you do this, the more effective you're going to be in terms of your communication and the more effective you're going to be in your persuasiveness skills. So I hope you found this to be, uh, to be helpful. Uh, I'll be interested in terms of what you come up with. So if you're so inclined, shoot me an email. Tell me what you thought about this video. Tell me if you found it to be uh, helpful to you. And you can shoot that to mark at gentlerainmarketing.com. Now, of course, there's two groups of people out there. There are people that like to acquire information for the sake of acquiring information. And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that because the acquisition of knowledge is important. And in the very beginning, when you're just kind of starting to sort out stuff, getting knowledge, getting information is crucially important. But ultimately, if you're going to be actually getting more brand new clients, you got to implement. Can't learn to swim by reading a book. Sooner or later, if you're serious about this, you got to implement. And if I can help you in terms of implementing these marketing programs, uh, I certainly would love to. And uh, that's what my coaching program is really designed to do, is to get you up and running, getting a micro-targeted marketing system in place inside of 45 days. That's uh, that's the goal. So if, you, uh, if you're interested in that and you want to chat with me a little bit about that program, again, shoot me an email to mark at gentlerainmarketing.com. But at a bare minimum, go back and answer the seven questions because I think those are going to be very helpful to you in everything from your one-on-one -on -one communication to sales letters to website copy and, uh, and beyond. So uh, I enjoyed uh, making this video for you. Hope you found it to be helpful. And uh, I'll look forward to uh, talking to you soon. Bye for now.